Nobody likes change, but it's because it's unknown. This is not unknown to us. Two thirds of the organization has embraced and been using EPR successfully. This has been an exciting journey for us. We've already seen various benefits of using EPR, such as standardization of the treatment which we provide to our patients, as well as reduced length of stay. The beginning will, will be a big challenge, and I think that's why we're doing lots of preparation, lots of information, lots of training for all members of staff who will be affected. It's impacting every aspect of the hospital, every department, every ward, every clinician. The real advantage and the most important for me is a real improvement in patient safety. We will be able to detect early deterioration in patients, we'll be able to coordinate their medications. From feedback from the staff and from what I have witnessed, it certainly does save them time and give them more time, that direct patient care. This is not a new system for Barnard and Chase Farm, so we're using it since 2018. And believe me, if you ask anyone, we don't want to go back to the old system. So we've already seen various benefits of delivering the best care for our patients. The good news is that actually we've all got a lot of skill in using Cerner already. So some of the principles of using this electronic patient system Cerner are still very useful. It was, it was good actually, we had people floor walkers. They're very nice, they, have, they came and they actually physically showed us what to do from, you know, from start to bottom until we actually got it, which was nice. And they were here at night to support us. Some clinicians have said that they feel sufficiently capable in it that they're not sure that they need to do their training. What I would say is many clinicians have reported back having done the training saying that they've identified lots of really new things that you won't have seen even if you're using the Barnet and the Chase Farm EPR. Engagement with the training programme is absolutely vital. I've done the training myself and I think it's one of the best design training programmes I've seen. There will be differences and staff will experience differences. There will also be things that perhaps we've not been using it in the most efficient way. With the forthcoming rollout of Royal Free, there's been much more clinical involvement. The introduction of the SMEs, for example, has been a really important innovation. The idea that we have clinicians who are actively involved in the development of the EPR. What our patients say most to us is that they don't like repeating their history and this will allow us to coordinate the patient's history across all of their journey. The relevant team will have access to the right information at the right time. We do have a smart card that only the relevant people who have should have access to those information will be the ones who will have access. It's also a lot easier, we don't have to interpret people's handwriting and everything's in one place so you can just see it all. I would never go back to the old system. It's, this one is brilliant. Mm -hmm.